time. But obviously, as the war progressed, um, in 1940, um, Winston Churchill decided that this would be a really good site. Um, so they started building and um, they tried to make the site look reasonably kind of unused, disguised, because it was going to fly some really important people from here. They were um, the, um, the guys who would be the brave guys who would be dropped into uh, foreign lands and go and do the reconnaissance um, and find out what was going on. Thanks the station. Um, so you had that as well. Um, they mainly flew, used um, Halifaxes, um, which um, um, were used to take out supplies um, and equipment. Um, and then these Lysanders, which apparently you have to start with the, I think it's the right foot. If you don't start with the right foot to get climb into it, you can't get into it apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lovely story. Um, about uh, a guy. When the um, agents were brought down to what we call Gibraltar Farm, which there's a photograph there, and there's one over the top there, second one down over there, the top one there. Um, they were brought there, and they went into the barn where we're going to go and get their kit, um, and then they would sit in the farmhouse until the conditions would allow them to to take off. They would then be driven up the runway or wherever to meet the plane. He, because he was in 161, would be actually, he was a gunner, he'd be sitting in the plane awaiting um, take off. And so he never ever saw any of the agents. Mm -hmm. Here they would have collected their maps, their cyanide pills, their radios and fake papers, you know, passports and stuff like that and that's where this would have, these things would have been issued. It's very sad that the farmhouse is not here because I can remember it full slip. Anyway, out of this farm, 995 agents left and um, 29,000 canisters, 10,000 packages. They lost 70 aircraft. The whole role of the um, Lysander in the Secret War was completely and utterly carried out in such secrecy that nobody talked about it. I think even, they probably mentioned it to you, the villagers at Tempsford didn't know what was, what was going on. The pilots themselves had to be trained in how to fly this thing and to be able to let, fly it at night, to fly it totally to any unknown field to which they were suddenly given the coordinates. But it was used for um, delivering stock, delivering stores, spotting messages. They would put canisters underneath and then they would drop them with parachutes to various people on the ground in order that they got um, supplies and goods into the people behind the, the lines. It was a, a ground attack uh, <coughs> supply dropper, basically. And in that role, it would have had two machine guns through firing through the spats. In the role that it played during the Secret War dropping the agents, it was totally unarmed. It had no armament. Yep. The uh, 161 Squadron had two flights. They operated six nice handles. And they kept a spare in case one went to the